it's great to incorporate um, VR and any type of technology into learning and education. <laughs> it opens up access to all these different worlds and just be there with your classmates and learn together about somewhere you never would have been able to go to before. I'm teaching vital subjects, climate change mitigation and adaptation, food, energy, water, and zero waste nexus thinking, uh, envisioning sustainability. So my goal is to make my classes as exciting as National Geographic. The classroom, it's always constrained by the mere fact that you're in a room looking at a two-dimensional plane and you need by next week to know this material in this way. So I bring these tools in and it's almost like the tools end up teaching the class because they liberate human minds to explore these different options. I say to my students, come on in, we're gonna meet in the classroom, but it's not gonna be in the classroom. It's gonna be in the virtual classroom. And not only can you start placing all of the sustainability technologies and ideas in world, but you can fly. And we all were prepared in the you know, late 90s, early 2000s. One day we'll be able to teach these courses like this. And here in 2020, we're there. We've gone to the moons of Jupiter, We've gone undersea to look at plastic in the ocean and swum around with turtles getting entangled. Humans are hungry for experiences that give them self-actualization. VR lets you not just walk around, fly around, it lets you touch, move, size, you know, change the scale, rotate. You start getting physically involved. Students that have both experience, real world and virtual world, understand concepts and do better than those who have just one or the other. That's the powerful combination. I have a passion, I have an interest, and I'm able to ignite similar passions as students who are really my colleagues now. I love that Every day that I come to play, which other people think of as coming to work, I'm moving the dial forward. Technology has finally arrived so that those limitations have suddenly been overcome. We're making progress toward that sustainable future. I feel it, and my students feel it, I think, too. People who can't be here, they can see everything that I've seen today, right now, just through their VR goggles and feel inspired, kind of how I have today.